hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Rugai Muhammad Salih so if this is your first time on my channel I'm glad to have you and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for being here again I hope you'll stay with me till the end of this video so yeah I have my previous video was Q&A and you guys know the whole story about that because of what I put in my own WhatsApp status and people commented so the next thing that people wanted on that list was spoken word poetry but the issue is I have still not memorized my poem and I am struggling to do that so I just figured out why not just read it out even though like reading it out doesn't feel like you don't get that feeling that you get from just reciting it out from your head and it's been long I have a spoken word on my channel so today I'm going to do it you guys I'm excited because I just put this disclaimer out up there for you guys ignore any background sound you guys can hear I'm trying my best to find a place that conducive for me to film but I can't so this and I love being here so I'm going to read out the poem from my book remember this yeah so I'm going to read out from this book and I'm going to try my best to see that I read it I do justice to the poem the poem is about is dedicated first to a girl that looks up to me she's actually a youtuber I've been trying to have a collab with her but we couldn't then we wanted to have a collab in Ramadan and we couldn't so it's dedicated to Radia Abdul Hakim this poem is for you like she was the source of inspiration that made me wrote this poem and so it's titled for the love of poetry and it goes like this it has been a while my fingertips were grazed by the tip of a pen as it dances on a sheet of paper bleeding from thoughts memories emotions rants and what have you my brain seems to be on a creative break it's clouded by a fog every time i pick up a pen to scribble some call it writer's block it feels like a coffee addict trying to quit coffee i feel malnourished my organs are failing and my heart is weak so each time I try, even if the words seem close yet so far, the verses are all over the place and the poem is crippled. My heart doesn't give up. You see, when it comes to the affairs of the heart, the passion, the zeal, the excitement, the feeling, it is undefined as mathematicians say, but this isn't an equation to be solved or a philosophy to be understood. My heart skips a bit whenever it senses a poet. It flutters and dances to the tune of a poetess. For some people, poetry is an on and off kind of relationship. While some it's an infatuation, some have a summer fling flirting with it, while others have uttered I do, reciting their vows to be faithful and loyal. I can only speak for myself because I believe poetry isn't something I stumbled upon that makes me feel butterflies in my stomach. It's not love at first sight, not the second or the third. It is the living part of me that will continue to reign even if I breathe my last. Poetry is me, I am she, and we are one. My heart yearns for a recital every time it pumps blood. Adrenaline flows alongside blood through my veins. Every living part of my existence is nurtured with poetry. Poetry isn't a part of me, but all of me. So once again, I write to clear the air. I won't quit poetry or give it up because it is me, and I am she. Okay, uh, you are not expecting that end, right? I wasn't also. I feel like I could do better, but for what it's worth, for what, for what it's worth, for what it's worth. How do you even put up the English? Anyway, in a nutshell, Radia Abdul Hakim and her classmates, they inspired me to write this poem because it has been a while as you heard in the poem. I wrote a new poem like almost a year I think and that's quite unusual because whenever I get the chance I scribble down a few lines and then come up with a new poem but the past year I couldn't do that like I, I don't think it's up to air like 10 months 8 to 10 months something like that I couldn't write anything but when she messaged me on whatsapp that her friends were asking her uh, about a spoken word video like I don't have any latest video on my channel about spoken word and and I would love to see something like that on my channel I just 
picked up I just opened up the notes on my phone and I started typing it to be honest I didn't know I could do it at first I was just putting down like I wanted to jot something down in form of diary then I started composing this poem I don't know if it's the right English to use so I wrote it and she's the source of inspiration for this poem what she said like she has encouraged me in ways that she has no idea so this poem is dedicated to her and her friends and I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did and I guess this is the end of the video <laughs> I actually had a video I filmed like two videos before filming this all today but they turned out to not like not the way I, I wanted it to and not the way I expected it and I just didn't like it so that is why I was filming this and I have still not memorized the poem as I've told you but I figured out you know the best way to do it is by doing it if I say that I'm going to wait I have to memorize the poem recite it rehearse and you know I just figured I wasn't going to ever do it but then this is me doing it next time inshallah I will have to memorize the poem I, I'm very bad at memorizing poems I just like r like writing them down and then reciting them from a book I, I have never memorized a poem and recited it out like this so next time I'll do my best to improve on this kind of thing and then we'll see how it goes don't forget to like comment subscribe share you know all the drill leave whatever you want to say down in the comment section below and keep sharing it to your friends thank you and meet you in my next video bye Behind the scene. Hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I don't film in, we're just shooting behind the side. Okay. 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 Okay.